messages. Uh, it's a rather a question. The title is a question. Looking for a harvest. In other words, are you looking for a harvest? Are you looking for a harvest? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, the next question comes. Have you sowed? <laughs> so, no farmer looks for a harvest without sowing. Am I right? So, there are powerful understanding and revelation in God's word. How we can live a superior life. It is not about what we earn in your office. It is not about what you earn in your business. It is how God's blessing manifests in our life. I should say, Pastor Ram and me are ourselves a testimony for this. How powerfully God has given us this grace. Purely because of His truth. So, <clears throat> we will start by reading this word. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter. Can you just stand up? We'll read with... Uh, um, we'll stand and read the word, um, please. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Father, we bring this word of God to your throne of grace. My Father, let your might and power be revealed unto this word. Hallelujah, Lord, you are a mighty God. You are an almighty God. There is nothing too hard for thee, Lord. Your word is a law. It will work in anyone's life. If they release their faith, your grace comes, Lord. Let it be done according to your will, according to the word in our life, that we may live a life of dominion on this earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Please sit down. Let us say one more hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, I, my voice was higher than yours. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yeah, I may have a mic. I, I could say mic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still I am louder. Peter and Paul did not have a mic. Am I right? Peter addressed for 3,000 people. So... Let us go to this word, a very interesting word in Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, all this we know. Am I right? We know, oh, it's going to be cold in Bangalore and so and so day, and oh, it's going to be hot in Chennai most of the days. We know when the day is, we know when the night is coming. Summer, winter, everything we know. We have knowledge about all these things, but we have very less knowledge about sowing and reaping. While this also will not cease along with the other three things, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will not cease as they don't cease, even sowing and reaping will not cease. But still, why is it that, see in all the other three, we have no part to play. Am I right? Have you got any part to play in cold and heat? Summer and winter? Day and night? Have you got any part to play in that? No. But for sowing and reaping, we have a part to play. God says, when all other three things is happening according to my law, without ceasing, when I say sowing and reaping will not cease, it will be done according to my word. 
can we dare to believe can we take a step forward and say lord i am going to see the blessing power manifesting you may say i am blessed with my job i am blessed with my business no that is not the blessing what does the blessing word say god blessed them and said be fruitful multiply replenish this earth subdue it and have dominion see what we receive from a salary or in business profit that is only the seed for the sower god will give seed for the sower that's what is written in 2 corinthians chapter um 7 and eight god will give seed for the sower so your earnings are not the blessing power manifesting for the blessing power manifesting what is required faith unless you have faith nothing in the kingdom of god manifests you cannot say everybody is working am i right along with you how many people are working in your office say yeah. unbelievers all of them are working along with you how many businessmen are there they are all having business but god is telling something about the power of blessing to manifest it has got nothing to do with us all we need to do is just believe in his word and act out in faith faith without works is dead so while we act out in faith it is the responsibility of god almighty to see the manifesting manifestation of this power of blessing in our life so let us read one more verse about sowing and reaping psalms 126 verse 5 and 6 Psalms 126 verses 5 and 6 They that sow in tears shall reap in joy he that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him So sowing with tears and reaping with joy that is how it is am i right by sowing nobody gets joy only when you get a harvest you get a joy but what is sowing and what is reaping i understand from my experience when i was in uh, the kerala for her, those days uh, when i go and uh, be with my grandparents there will be one small you know you put your uh, uh, dirty cloth basket it will be something to that height and uh, that uh, circumference the seed will be kept in something like that and when that seed is sown they get a harvest my the room where we had over there, i think it should be around 20 by 15 or something that room was full of harvest you can't even enter you'll have to take uh, the harvest from outside you can pack it in your bags sell it and eat for the rest of the season till your next harvest but this basket which you keep as a seed is the most important thing which has to be sown to see your next harvest am i right if that person doesn't sow this seed can that person expect a harvest in the next season it is not possible unless you sow you see the harvest so the blessing power manifesting in a believer's life is based on his or her sowing 
and that sowing will bring a harvest according to God's word which will be the manifestation of blessing it says you will multiply you will be fruitful and multiply you will replenish this earth you subdue it and you will have dominion on that so here sowing always brings tears in other words the most difficult thing to do is let go something from your hand the flesh will never allow but just understand why the Lord has kept this law it is not that you have to lose God has kept this law so that you may profit you may see abundance that is why he says I will give seed to the sower let us read one more verse before we go to the next Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 and 9 for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting nine is and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not if you sow in the flesh you will reap in the flesh but if you sow in the spirit you shall reap life eternal in other words uh, sowing in the spirit is sowing according to the word of God while you sow according to the word of God you will see the life manifestation of uh, God Almighty in anything what you sow in other words there will not be failure in your life while you do things according to the word see there were in the world that everyone wants to earn money quickly am I right that's why they were horse racing those days horse racing how do, why do people go for horse racing I'll get a jackpot I'll come back with a jackpot I know what pot they get when they come back and gambling they go with the same desire they go and get a lot of money and now the latest trend has become shares also the earlier days we were so so certain we will be getting a profit but nowadays it is not so it is letting us down the world system is letting us down but God's system will never let us down it has never let anybody down while you sow in the kingdom of God there is an absolute confirmation the absolute certainty that you will see a harvest according to God's word but still why is it but believers don't have the heart to sow into the kingdom of God tell me why why is it I will tell you the reason just think about it but everyone has got a need requirement everybody wants to see this is not enough I need more that more 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 is in everyone's life we want to go to this level then we want to go to the next level but never everyone has been satisfied so one is contentment the kingdom of God we need to be contented that is when you will look into the God system the word system as long as you are not contented you will go according to the world system the reason why you are drawn into the word system is it is because of faith the just shall live by faith are you the just how did you become a just how did you get saved you believed your faith brought down the grace I think uh, I want an interactive session the Tamil service was very interactive how did you get saved your faith brought down God's grace that's what you got that's how you got 
salvation. Understood? You got so you got saved. So now, if you want anything from the system of God, word system, you need to have faith. Unless you release your faith, you cannot bring down the grace to see the manifestation of the blessing. So why the people of God are not seeing the fullness of blessing because they don't have faith. You may think, yes I have faith. If you have faith, let us see it. Many churches don't teach about sowing and reaping. They don't teach about the believers being rich. Instead, the church has kept the believers in bondage of poverty by saying, if you are poor, you are bearing the cross of Jesus. And there are so many Pentecostal churches which says, the rich man will go to hell. I said, one, Parlogam Pravesikam Atan, that's what they say. The rich man will not enter heaven. Who said that? Then why did Jesus die? According to 2 Corinthians chapter 8 9, you know the grace of our Lord Jesus. Though he was rich, he became poor for our sakes. That through his rich. That means if we are not rich, we are making the grace in vain. So those who are teaching the church has to be in poverty is making the grace in vain and they are twisting the word of God which is a lie. While you twist the word of God it becomes a lie. That means it is not the Holy Spirit who is speaking. It is not a prosperity doctrine what I am speaking about. I am talking about the truth how you need to see the grace which comes from the cross. If you believe in your salvation that you received through your faith, the grace came down, you got saved because of the truth which you had, you got the faith. The same way, the truth which I'm going to give you today should bring faith to sow, which will bring harvest in your life and you will become rich according to God's word. In heaven, there is no beggar. You know, the king of kings, the lord of lords, who has laid all the roads with gold, don't have any beggars in heaven. So then why do people say, I beg you, kinchi ke that's what the many, many believers prayer is under a kinchi ke I beg you Lord, are you a beggar? Does, does God look at you as a beggar? God looks at you as a son. And God says, I am your father. You have faith that you are his son and he is your father and you go with his faith and say my father in heaven in Jesus name I come and I ask for this and I receive by faith the grace comes down just imagine if pastor and me have to leave our job and come Trusting God, we stand as a testimony saying, God is a faithful God. Many people said, how can you close your business and come? He said, many said to my wife, my pastor, mother, she said, how can you throw away such a beautiful international job and come? That is when you need to have faith. If you are very clear and sure, it is God's calling, you will come like how Elisha came. You will throw everything and close the doors for that and come back, not looking behind, go forward. 
those who held the plow will never look back if they look back they are not worthy for the kingdom of God in other words God is a God while he says what that he'll do in his word he will do but what is lacking in the church faith that means the reason why the faith is lacking is there is no teachers of faith faith cometh by hearing and hearing how does the hearing come by the word of God in other words your spiritual ears open when you come and sit with gladness to hear the word of God that is when the hearing comes faith cometh by hearing so unless you have faith you will not step out and sow and unless you sow the grace will not come down to bring you a harvest and unless you see the harvest you cannot say that you are greatly blessed the manifest and I'm asking you what is the difference between a believer and an unbeliever what is the what is the difference between those who are in the kingdom of God and the people of the world where Abraham was there was blessing am I right am I right that land was blessed he did not say oh that land is only blessed I'll go and stay there no no that is what Lord thought but Abraham said any place I am I that place will be blessed where I where I am the blessing is in us it manifests through our faith who are we the just the just shall live by faith the just shall not live by the profit which comes from the business the just shall not live by the what the salary your company gives the just shall live by faith in other words whatever you're getting is just a pittance you may get whatever you are God says just just a justice it's a seed that means how much more God wants to bless you you think oh my business is giving so much of no 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 that is just the seed God has got in store for you a great harvest but you are not stepping out and taking hold of that blessing why no faith the just shall live by faith when God told us you have to give this offering you have to sow this offering in so and so place yes we were shocked we were shocked Lord so many zeros after this one we asked God once more God sh showed from the word of God in both the sites of the Bible the same numbers are written around 15 to 20 times the amplified thank God then the Lord the Holy Spirit said don't you know that I want to bless you more that means in this act of sowing is the blessing power manifesting the same month I don't know whether it is 15 times or 20 times we got the return on the same month isn't our God faithful amen he is faithful so why why is the life of a believer still in lack why is it still in debt why is church not teaching the truth about sowing and reaping the devil has kept this truth away from the people of God no more no more we will be in ignorance no more we will be in ignorance for the minute we act out in this faith I, I will tell you one more thing when we had around 38 lakhs of debt those days around one and a half crore just the, 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 the minute when we got into came into the 
I mean, these are the things which I am telling you. You know what is a debt means? You don't have anything to sell and clear that particular amount. That is debt. Are you understanding? If you have something to sell and you have money to uh, give, that cannot be considered as debt. It is balancing. If your assets and liabilities, your liabilities are less, but the assets are much more. Cannot be a great issue for you. But our issue was different. We had uh, overweighing a liability, but very as good as no assets. We were drowning. We asked the Lord, Lord, what should we do, Lord? What is this? God showed in the spirit. Both of us were bound in a what is it? A spider web. A spider web was all around us we were bound. The Lord said, He asked, How to get out of this? God said, Faith. What, Lord, what should we do? So, why did the enemy keep you in that web? So that you cannot give for the kingdom of God. But you step out and you give. Then you're breaking the plan of the enemy. You're destroying that web which is holding you. You're setting yourself free by the power of God because of your faith. The grace comes down. There started the miracle. No turning back. Tang, tang, tang. Everything went cleared. I hope nobody is there in that situation today. The very powerful act of God. So it says here in Galatians chapter 6, 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So while you are sowing, we need to be very careful about two things. We should not be weary. We should not faint. If you are weary or faint after sowing, you will lose your harvest. The minute you give, you say, oh, money has gone out of my hand. I could have done this with this money. I could have done this. Yes, you could have done 101 things. But you would have got a harvest that you just now lost because you cancelled the power of God by saying you lost money instead of saying Lord I sowed with faith fear came in instead of faith that is why I said oh God my money is gone that is fear gone everything what was supposed to come is gone many believers try to do this act of faith they enter into the area of doubt and fear. What did we read? Doubtless. Where did we read then? Doubtless. Psalms. 126 verse uh, uh, 6 we, say, we saw. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his shoes with him, without doubt. He will certainly come back with sheaves, with a, with a, with a harvest, doubtless. That is how sure you have to be, while you sow, you will see the harvest. We have been there, we have seen God's goodness. It's an opportunity to see the great goodness of God in our life. Let us see how this sowing will come back to us in Genesis chapter 26 verse 12. Genesis was chapter 26 verse 12. The, then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year and hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Isaac, what did he do? He sowed. 
and he reaped or he received means he reaped when the same year he reaped the same year how much a hundredfold what is hundredfold let us say you're sowing one seed and you're getting 10 fruit out of a hundred fruit out of it but if you get a hundred fruit is which is a maximum that is hundredfold if you get only 60 that means 60 fold if you get only 30 this 30 fold that's what Jesus talks about some received 30 some 60 and some 100 why according to their faith it was done some had faith only for 30 some had faith for 60 some had faith for 100 fold Isaac had faith for 100 fold and it says the Lord blessed him when when he sowed and when he reaped that is when it is written the Lord blessed him so now tell me when we have to say I am blessed what should we show our faith in sowing I want to clarify here one thing your tithes is not sowing your tithes is only to enter into the covenant that is rightfully God's that's why God says in Malachi why did you rob me in other words why if you don't give you're taking what is due to God and you're robbing God but sowing or giving an offering that is an act of faith Tithes is a necessity, is a compulsion. But offering is a choice. And how much? It is up to you. You can say, if I give 50% of my harvest, if I give for sowing, how much I'll get? How much I'll get? For one basket itself, I got one full around let us say 10 by 10 full room of uh, harvest I got if I am going to give half of my harvest that means how many baskets of seed is, seed is there I should have had at least 100 baskets of seeds then I should have around 100 10 by 10 rooms of harvest just giving one half of the 10 by 10 room seed to harvest I get how much 100 10 by 10 room of harvest that is how you need to look at sowing and reaping now I'm going to come to you because I can read your mind because I'm the anointing I can read your mind when God gives me then I will sow what have I got Lord in me that I can sow some will say I am so blessed why should I sow these are the three questions I'll give answers from the word of God let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 1 to 3 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 1 to 3 Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality and to their power, I bear record, yea, and beyond their power, they were willing of themselves. How did it start this verse it says we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia that means to for the grace to come upon the church on the Macedonia the believers in the Macedonia they had faith unless they had released their faith grace wouldn't have come grace was bestowed bestowed means what 
God put upon them the grace. For what? To give. And what was their position? Deep poverty. And <coughs> great trial of affliction. Great trial of affliction. I can't take anything out of this. I have so much. I am neck deep in problems. Great trial of affliction. Deep poverty. But what is bestowed upon them? Grace. Why? They had faith to give. See the next verse. <coughs> How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and the deep poverty abound into the riches of their liberality. What they had? They had joy and they had a heart of a liberal heart. Heart of liberality means a, a liberal heart. They had two things in their heart while they are ready to sow. One is they had a heart filled with joy and they had a liberal heart. In other words, after sowing, I am telling you how much joy we had, you know, after sowing. Oh Lord, thank you Lord for giving us this opportunity for sowing this much. I know that I know that I know that I know what is the harvest going to come. God did not disappoint us. I am telling you, God did not disappoint us. He honored our faith. The same month. God honored the faith. So here it says. Uh, joy. And liberality. For to their power I bear record. Yea beyond their power. They were willing of themselves. They did not have the power to give. You were just asking your heart. How do I give? I don't have. Let God bless me first. Let God bless me first. Then I will give. No, 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 no. You will never be able to give. Because you don't have faith to give. We're coming to that also. When you will have the faith to give. And what is the element which will drive you to give. I'm going to... It's a little uh, longer message than the usual, uh, but it has to be complete. This is a message of all messages. Because the church should not be in bondage of poverty anymore. I am just excited to give this message. Excited. Hallelujah. You know why? I know. At least one in this church will glorify the name of Jesus. I don't know how many more. I've taught this message for three messages, three, uh, three services, and it has gone live also for two, continuously two for two. Others. And we're going to put it on, uh, online also. How many are going to see this? I am excited. You shall bring forth my praise. That is all that I want. That is all I, that I want. The work which I do for the Lord will be my result. How God will do my, what is it called? Your office they do something, what is it called? Appraisal. How does God appraise me? To see how many have had this faith. How many have applied the faith. How many have benefited by this word. How many have got out. It's a joyful thing to know that. So here we see. Macedonian believers. In the midst of the great trial. In the deep poverty, they had a liberal heart, their heart was filled with joy and they were filled with faith therefore the grace was bestowed upon them. Tell me, would they have received 
the miracle or not why is it so much written about Macedonian believers because that church has seen the miracle working power of God they have seen the harvest now we'll go to the next place John chapter 3 verse 16 John chapter 3 verse 16 this verse I think if you are a believer you should know this word am I right God so loved the world therefore he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life God what did he do God God gave God sowed why why did he sow why did he give because he loved because he loved the world so when will you sow when you love the Lord when you love the church when you love the anointing that is when you sow if you have not sown better start showing your love am I right if I am in this church in this anointing it is because of this what I am this is this place I will see the power of God you manifest your the manifestation of the blessing will only be there after faith after you act out in faith the grace comes down God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that he may get many sons I will give you another verse to link this this word in Isaiah 53 verse 10 yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him Isaiah 53 verse 10 he that put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand it pleased the Lord to bruise him he had put him to grief when thou shall make his soul an offering for sin he sowed the soul of his only begotten son that he may see a great harvest of souls as long as the earth remaineth seed time and harvest will not cease God knows the law on this earth God knows even if he has to do something on this earth he has to sow to reap are you understanding God himself sowed and he reaped now tell me are we bigger than or greater than God that we want to see the harvest without sowing are you understanding how powerful it is glory to God I'm so glad I I'm so glad I taught a good truth today which will set you all free which will bring you all to great prosperity which has brought faith in your spirit those web which is covering you and keeping you in bondage has been destroyed the enemy can never ever have you under his bondage anymore for the just shall live by faith when we are the just we are the righteous one righteousness of God for Abraham believed God it was counted for him as righteous I believe God I do his word because I have faith in God therefore God looks at my faith and releases his grace that I will have what I believe 
if thou canst believe all things are possible for him that believeth fear not only believe and if you shall believe you shall see the glory the goodness of god wonderful hallelujah wonderful so now the word will be taken away very soon if you don't act this word i didn't say this to any any i mean there were much more congregation members uh, in the first two services than this i didn't say this but i feel like saying this if you don't act out in faith you lose the seed but if you act out in faith the seed remaineth let us stand <clears throat> father you send your word and heal them and deliver them from their destruction oh hallelujah you are a good god you are a mighty god you are a powerful god your truth is amazing lord we love your truth we pray father for everyone in this place let your mighty hand powerful hand a hand which delivers the hand which sets your people free come down on each one and touch each one of this place deliver them lord from this bondage never again they will be in this place of bondage anymore they will see great harvest for every step of the way they sow and they sow and they sow they see harvest 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 the life will be filled with joy the life will be a life of rest no more no more sweating it's a life of rest my god hallelujah bless each one according to this word we pray in jesus name amen amen 